AI is everywhere, and it has been for a while. Photoshop and other software like Luminar have been using AI for years now, and apparently so have these logo generators. Some would say it's the worst way to design a brand, or are they? So instead, can you actually make good logos with logo generators? I'm going to choose a well-known brand that people know, like Microsoft, and I'm going to go with the Wix logo maker first, because there was a point in time that this was everywhere. I used to get these ads all the time, but I never hear about it anymore, so I'm assuming Wix has just given up on it. Need a professional logo for your brand? I've used the new Wix logo maker to create one for my startup. I created this beautiful logo for my bike shop with Wix logo maker. Gotta make sure it's catchy. First logo you see is actually pretty decent. I have no idea what it says. So this is a bunch of logos that have been made using the logo maker. Some of these aren't terrible. They all feel fairly generic though. Some of these look like they just gave up. So they have a bunch of different categories too. So these are all the barber logos. Okay, these are significantly worse. This isn't filling me full of confidence. I think the ones on the homepage were meant to be the cream of the crop. So we've got some tips down here. Define your branding. It's all just kind of just generic advice. It should reflect the kind of services you provide and help your clients connect with you. They also say here, your logo is one of the main elements that helps you stay cut above other barbershops and, other, and businesses. So, you know, make something that's your own. And then immediately after that, they say, you'll notice that many barbershop logos have a distinctive vintage feel. So you might want to do a retro logo. So I'm going to stay a cut above by copying everyone else. Icons, illustrations, and graphics also help you to stand out. Keep it traditional with images of scissors and cones. Okay, again, they've said stand out from the competition and then just do what everybody else has done. This is just not good advice. So this is definitely wrong and probably one of the most common mistakes you'll see with logo design. This is the kind of thing that non-designers think logo design is like. I remember there's this really great series made by the future called Building a Brand. And when they're talking about the logo process, they say probably the best piece of advice I've ever heard for logo design, which is a logo's job is to identify, not explain. With identity design, we never want to explain. We always want to identify. And the first thing that springs to mind when you talk about this, when you talk about identifying something, is Apple. Right from the beginning, Apple's approach was to make devices and computers that everybody could use. You didn't need to be tech savvy to use an Apple product. And that comes through in their logo. They didn't want to have a technical name and they didn't want something technical for their logo. So they went with Apple because it's a very familiar word. You compare it to their competitors like International Business Machines and Microsoft, which is just the combination of microchip and software. This did stand out as being something extremely unique. They got there because they had a philosophy and they had a mission statement, some core values, something to work with. With these generators, you have buzzwords and tags that you just pick and you hope that it spits out the right solution. Okay, let's try and create a logo. Wait, I can create a logo myself or hire a designer? I thought this was the best way to make a logo online. Why am I hiring a designer? Oh, do I have to log in? God damn it. I don't want to give you my information. We'll be right back. Uh, tagline? Do they have a slogan? I don't even know what Microsoft's slogan is. We believe in what people make possible. Be what's next? Is it that? So I'm seeing a few options here and I don't recognize any of these. Making it easier. Where do you want to go today? Your potential, our passion. Gotta make sure it's catchy. So they used all of these slogans that I don't recognize at all up until 2012 and then they forfeited the slogan. Okay, no slogan. I'll choose tech. So this is where AI does its thing. You only need a couple of keywords and that's all you need for a logo, apparently. Well, techy, obviously. It's not playful, it's not fun, it's definitely not fresh. Modern, it's not creative. It's... I'll go with those three. Which of these logos do you like better? Neither. 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 That one's not bad. Neither. Oh, it's really chugging. What is that? Ow! Ow! And that colour scheme. God. This is Microsoft if it was run by Dracula. That one's not bad. That's at least in the direction I was hoping for. That one, not bad. Wow, someone gave up on that one. Someone gave up on that one too, and that one. I can't even see that one. Wow, R really? Really? That's all you're giving me? A free font underlined? What's that? I don't want this logo, I just want to see what the icon is because I can't see it. It's a woman holding a badge? ID? 
Or is it a tablet? I don't know. Either way, they've put red on purple, so I can't see anything. So there's a few generic ones in here that kind of work. And then there's some incredibly lazy ones, some that don't make any sense. That one's just a dollar sign. It's not wrong. It's not what I wanted, but it's not wrong. Another font, another font, another font. This one is just a picture of a lorry. That one's shaking hands. Yeah, there's. The, it's so inconsistent because I asked for something modern and techy, and then they give me this. Did I misspell it? Why is there an I there? By Microsoft. I wouldn't be surprised if Apple has already copyrighted that. It's a tech company, not a paintball company. A love heart? This lit up like a neon sign. The more you scroll, the worse it gets. That one's... Uh, that one... That one's not far off what they have at the moment. It's just basically what they have, but they've folded it. I need to stop scrolling. Maybe I can get by calling that an M? It's the typography that I'm not really all that keen on. Actually, I'll go for the folded one. It's pretty close to what they have at the moment, so I'm going to go with that. So if I click through these, they give you different colour schemes. What are, you, what, are you, what are you giving me this for? Who's going to choose that? Atomic pink? What the f... Can I not choose different colours? That one... I'm leaning towards this one. Can I try a different font? It just added a new one. No, I want to customise what I already have. I think I just want something less generic. Uh, ooh, that looks a bit Apple from the 1970s. Oh, yeah, perfect. Exactly what I asked for. You were thinking it would give you some kind of font recommendation, maybe? Mm, it's a bit too Terminator, that one. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I wanted techie. I got techie. Oh, I give up. I'm going to go with source. And this is a brand. This, it's just a logo, and you've got a brand. No brand guidelines. There's nothing about mission statement, core values, strategies. Ooh, is this, the, is this the website they want to give me? Well, I asked for a basic website, and that is the most basic website I've ever seen. I just need a logo. How much is this? If I just want the logo, it's 13 quid. Again, with the upsells. Okay, I, I've seen enough. I'm done with this. I'm going to choose that first logo I saw, because I can't imagine a designer would come up with that solution. Not even a designer who's never made a logo before, or a student who's never worked in the industry. No one, no designer would come up with that font. And even just the colour scheme, just basic common sense with colours. Is this powered by AI? Because it's pretty stupid. So next up, I'm going to try Fiverr. This is not the best way to make a logo online, but it does give you a logo in five minutes. That can only be a good thing. Also, 22.5% cashback. They've just ranked for everything. Gaming logo maker, character logo maker, science logo maker, geek, concept logo maker. They must have spent a lot of money on SEO. So I remember this one being kind of controversial when it came out. Fiverr already is a little bit taboo considering it's, it's one of those churn websites. It's just all about getting as much work done as possible. Now, I understand there are a lot of people that can make a living from Fiverr. They do maybe a, a few jobs a month and they have incredible returns on that. But for the most part, there are a lot of people on there that are doing logos for literally five quid. Now it looks like they've made a logo maker which takes money and takes business away from those people that are trying to make money making cheap logos. I guess the idea is that these logos are made by Fiverr designers. Uh, they actually have the logo designed down here by who the designer is. I have no idea how it works, I don't know if they get commission, I don't know if one person uses this logo and then no one else can use it, I have no idea. What's going on with these mock-ups? It looks screwed. How to create an iconic brand. How to create an iconic brand in about five minutes. Can you smell that? No, no, I know what it is. It's bullshit. <laughs> Another thing people get wrong, and this is something that I associate with non-designers, not really designers. Most people don't know what a brand even is. There is a huge difference between a brand and a logo. A logo on a coffee cup is not a brand. Automatically paired and adjusted for you using AI technology. See, they mentioned AI. This one must be better, right? Make some adjustments if you'd like. Oh, that's actually really nice. It's a lot better than the Wix ones, so hopefully I get something this good. Explore the Fiverr logo make- Okay, these are significantly less good. That is the only good one out of all of these. Okay, I'm not going to go through all of their tips and all of their stuff because I'm sure it's all basically the same. Okay, for this one, I'm going to go for Apple. Industry, I guess I'm going for tech again. Add elements you like to see in your logo. Hmm, if I just tell them what I want, will they give me it? Is this like chat GPT where you put in what you want and then it spits it out for you? Apple with a single leaf and a bite mark. 
Was I meant to? Oh, okay. I need to do them individually. Okay. I don't want to get too specific with it now. I'm just going to go for Apple. So I want it to be minimalist and geometric. Accessible. What does that mean? So if you make it premium, it can't be accessible. What does that mean? People can't see it. I'll go for innovative, modern. Uh, I'm going to leave that in the middle. Sophisticated, simple. Wait, you can't have it sophisticated and simple? These aren't polar opposites to one another. Surely it should be simple on one side and then complex on the other, not sophisticated. I'm going to go with that. The suspense is killing me. Right, the first thing I've seen is an arse logo. Esports logo for some reason. Okay, this is this is not going well. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna take Apple out. Interesting. That's not simple. I asked for simple. That is definitely not simple. That's not an Apple. That's a love heart. What is that? Is it, are they trying to tell me to lose weight? Because this looks like a weight loss company. I, oh, do I have to sign up for this one too? If I just go back and go forward, can I just see the rest of them? Um, that one. Hmm. Again, very generic typography. That one looks like a pear. That one looks like something for AOL. Is that an Apple tornado? Like if, if I was going to go with something, I would go with that. But I, I'm not giving you my information either. Th that was that was worse. That was so much worse. I, I think it, it might be dumber, though. It's got AI in it, apparently, but it's dumber. It's so much dumber. I'm not going any further than this. I think I've seen enough. The, the more I've been thinking about branding and these logo makers, it's just making me think about the process you go through, especially with a client. There isn't any of this on here. There, there's so many questions you need to ask and so many things you need to find out. You obviously need to know what someone likes, but it's also really important to ask what they don't like. What if you give them something they absolutely despise, which isn't relevant to, say, their target audience? Those barbershop logos were saying we recommend going retro, but there's so many hair brands that aren't retro. They're trying to be modern and they're trying to be different. They're trying to be unique. And I think a major issue I have with AI in general, especially when it comes down to any of these creative tools, is that they aren't aware of trends. They're not going through what's popular and what's not. And I've heard about this in the world of tech. I don't know why I'm talking about Apple so much in this video, but it's a lot easier to connect the dots going backwards than it is to connect the dots going forwards. AI is only looking at what's been done before based on everything it sees. So don't expect anything interesting. The next one I'm going to go for is Looker. Uh, wait, this is the best free logo maker. I thought Wix was the best free logo maker. Having said that, they've set the bar pretty low, so you should be better than Wix. Ooh, AI powered. So these are the full mock-ups. It looks like they have a bit more going on. I do like the patterns though. Can you make these patterns? What does this mean? It featured in Google or Google used it to make a logo? Hundreds of custom logo mock-ups, 15 plus logo files. That's pretty good. You get a brand kit, 300 branded templates personalized to your logo. I don't think they'll be that personal if you're getting 300 of them. And now, you need a brand. You've got a vision. You have a vision, but you can't afford a designer. I think I've already established that these don't give you a vision. And that's the whole point of a designer. It's to, you give the designer the information and they create the vision for you. That's why you hire a designer. And these logo generators aren't going to do that. And hiring a designer is just a bit out of your budget. Uh, that's true. We, we are we do cost more than a cup of coffee. So f for companies, I was thinking either McDonald's or Nike, just to avoid tech companies. I'm going to go for Nike. So pick an industry. Is sports a bit too general? Nike started off doing running, so I'm going to go for running. Pick logos you like. Yep, don't like any of these. That one's not terrible. That one's not terrible. Ooh, there's not much to go off here. I'll go for that one and that one, because they've got generic icons. Colors you like. I mean, Nike is just black and white these days. I'm gonna go for red. Pick some symbol types. Okay, running. I, I kind of want stuff to be abstract, so I'll go for abstract. Innovative. I don't want to just say I want running shoes in it, because that's too obvious. Excellent. If I choose excellence, it's gonna give me a tick, right? It has to. Oof. Oof. Uh, wow, that one was lazy. That one's pretty lazy as well. The previous screen was actually all right. And what have they given me? I. These are the worst so far. I gave them red. Why are they giving me so much pink? Chill out with the gold gradients already. I said abstract and how does this fit anything I asked for? Like what is this typography? Is that a magnet? Why is there a magnet? I also said running and they gave me a running man here, but then everything else is just random. I think I have seen enough. I'm definitely not signing up for this one. The reason I found out about Looker is because they made this article when I was researching for a Kia logo video. And according to this article, it was listed as massive companies with terrible logos. 
so they had the audacity to say that the Kia logo is bad, and then they give me this garbage. The website's broken, I think it knows I'm mad at it. Something went wrong, yes it did. Some of these are appropriate, that's pretty bad, that's pretty bad as well. PS5 logo, uh, not bad, it's just pretty much the same as the previous one. But they had, they included the Kia logo on here, and their only argument seems to be that it's difficult to read. Also on here they have the Warner Brothers logo, so this one was controversial because it went flat. But it's, again, this is, okay yeah the logo is pretty simple and straightforward, but it takes the essence of what everybody recognises about Warner Brothers. It's the shape, it's that unique typography, it's on the water tower in Animaniacs, and it makes a simpler version of it, and it's incredibly versatile. If you look at all the different versions of it and all the different intros, they are incredible. Each one looks great, and the logo works with each of them. So apparently this design doesn't match the industry, and the logo's refinement was sapped all the character and playfulness from the original Golden Age of Hollywood style. Yeah, those, those icons you gave me really matched the industry I was in. I would avoid this website like the plague if you want some bad advice and a bad logo generator. So the problem with these logo makers is they all seem to say the exact same thing. They claim they will create a brand with the power of AI, something that's just for you, something that's unique. No they won't. What they do is they give you the bare minimum, and the majority of the time they struggle to even do that. If you want a logo and you don't care too much, it will give you a logo. It's just clip art or a stock logo that no one wanted, but it will give you a logo. The good news is, if you're a designer, you're not at risk of losing your job anytime soon, if this is what AI has given us in terms of logo design. They are a solution for people who don't want to think about their brand, for people who don't want to do any research. I guess they're cheap, so if you can't afford a designer, maybe try them. But if you don't care about your brand, why should anyone else?